I'm going to be trying something a little different today. I love steak. It's delicious. And I told you guys after the vegetable thing I'd be doing a meat video. So I'm going to try making steak. But uh, we don't have an oven yet. So I went and got a... Ninja air fryer and I'm going to try and make a steak in it because I've told it's delicious so yeah this is just gonna be me trying that and telling you what I think about it maybe you'll know if you want to do it in the future to get started I just got some sirloins marinating with a little bit of mushroom I'm gonna throw on the top at the end to enhance the flavor so I don't want you guys to think I'm just gonna throw it in there without some preparation that is a pretty nice steakhouse marinade. Yeah, I got, got it open and I'm about to pop my steak in. There's a handy little sticker that says 390 degrees, 10 to 20 minutes for steak. This isn't that thick, so I'm probably gonna go with the uh, 10 minutes. I'm gonna try and get all the extra moisture off this. And I'm just gonna toss her on in there. This is really nice. It's got a ceramic plate under there, which I am a fan of. But I forgot about the seasoning. Going with Weber roasted garlic and herbs seasoning. And it's brand new. And I've had this seasoning before, and I am a big fan. It's tasty if you're a garlic fan. If not, obviously you wouldn't get a roasted garlic seasoning. But garlic and meat, to me, is almost as classic as garlic and... Sorry, not garlic. Meat and potatoes. They really put these things on here. That should do. At least for now. I'll go through and change that later for all of you guys who this is giving anxiety to because it's only half open. But I'm just gonna go ahead and Ooh, it's well enough season. I'm only gonna do this side because don't plan on flipping it, this thing cooks all the way around. So, in it goes. Turn her on. Get her to 390 degrees for 10 minutes. And let's see how that turns out. We're about at the four minute mark and I'm going to open her up and just see how it is. It's already getting a very nice color and turning, but I'm just going to pop in a few of these mushrooms on top just so that they can get a little cooked. I'm going to start trying to burn for myself, which, well, you, you can see the level of success I'm having with that. I just think this will give it a nice flavor profile. I love mushrooms. And oops, I dropped it. I will get that off camera because they'll probably be swearing. Alright, so that looks good. So I'm going to pop her back in and once I cook her, you'll see me eat her and we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, she is done. Time to pop her out and get a taste. My steak is nice and rested. I'm just going to cut into it and see if this cooked it how I like it. I'm a medium man. Not too rare. Not ruined. I hate fully cooked steak. So let's just cut up a piece and see. well I'd say but it was a thin steak so the instructions weren't wrong let me just taste it because that's the important part here it's 
very good. It's got all the flavor of the marinade because I don't have to worry about flipping it over and losing that. The seasoning is all there. This is a decent way to make a steak, especially if you don't have an oven. And let's just try one of these mushrooms right on top. Not raw. Delicious. Has the seasoning and the marinade. I like this, but the real test is going to be when my fiance gets off work, I'm going to make her a steak just like this because she did not want an air fryer and I am going to convince her they're great. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.